What is up, God Gamers? I'm gonna make a quick video to kind of tell you what I've been doing on the first day of launch and what's been successful for me to help you guys out in your games. So as you can see, I played about 17 games. Here we are, about 17 games. Here are my scores here. And we ended up at gold two, which as which is rank 227, which is Challenger Elo is top 250. So uh, did pretty solid today. And I'll let you guys know what was successful for me. Um, just, I'll kind of go through each of these, but just kind of give you an overview. Um, AP. I played a lot of AP today. I played a lot of Callista. I played a lot of Kai'Sa. I played a lot around challengers. Um, and I avoided playing AD pretty much at all costs, except for Aphelios. Um, the only game I played Zeri, I had had a pretty good look for it. It didn't feel good. Zeri with Piltovers seems to be very strong, but I, I just do not like playing Zeri. If you guys are big Zeri God gamers, you know, do it, whatever. But I found that playing around, uh, challengers into Callista, Kai'Sa, Gwyn, building those type of comps. And that comp is on my uh, comps list video. So I'll leave that in the end card today. I played most, most of the comps that I played were from my comps list video that I made the other day. Uh, so make sure you guys check that out. Um, had a lot of success with invokers, challengers, and uh, to a lesser degree, lesser degree sorks, but I really like playing sorks around the early, uh, in the mid game and stuff. So uh, the legend that I was playing was Ezreal. I play Ezreal every game. Um, now I don't necessarily recommend playing Ezreal, even though that I play it, I think uh, I think Ezreal is difficult to play because you have to be willing to slam a lot of items and be willing to have um, maybe maybe what would be considered suboptimal items for your in-game board. So if you're someone who needs like best and slot items and you get really dizzy, um, then I would not rec necessarily recommend Ezreal. I think what you can take instead of Ezreal is Orn. I think Orn is probably the best legend uh, to take in general. But I just prefer taking Ezreal because I just love having the extra items. The reason why I play Ezreal is because I um, I think carrying, having like two or three carries on your team is so much more important than like building a solo carry comp. So for example, I play a lot of Callista Kaisa. Um, so let me just go back to some of the stuff I was playing at the beginning of the day. So look, here's, uh, I think this was my first match here. As you guys can see, I was playing Callista, Callista 3. I had Yasuo with tank items. And then I also had... Um, my Kaisa was side carrying. Look at the next game. Callista 3 again. My Callista's carrying. Uh, my Kaisa is side carrying. I got triple tank items on my Warwick. We're feeling good. I got a Heimer there rolling. Uh, next game we played, we have uh, Kaisa main carry. Callista with just some uh, garbage items on her. And we have Yasuo as our secondary carry. Um, we lost this one. And then our first place game right here, we had a really good angle to play reroll Soraka. So we took it um, and it felt pretty good. We played, re played reroll invokers, felt really good. But but the point is that I'm trying to express here is that that's why I take Ezreal because I have a bunch of items. I slam them and I'm willing to play a lot of different boards. I'm willing to play any of the AP boards and then I'll play Aphelios additionally. Uh, the way I've been trying to use Aphelios is I'm playing an AP board and I play Aphelios with no Deadeye because Deadeye is honestly, you don't have to have it. Deadeye can be nice, but it is completely unnecessary for Aphelios to carry. Um, so if I get extra AD items and I'm playing AP, then I'll just play Aphelios and Tarek for Targon and then I'll play Soraka and then I have like I have a big Targon team and that can feel quite nice. So yeah, so let me just take you through some of my games. So as we saw, Challengers right here. I played Challengers a bunch. Uh, Invokers right here. Um, we uh, lost this one, but we were playing, it looks like we're playing Sorks. Um, yeah, playing Sorks right there. And then uh, our rest of our games, we were playing, uh, this was an Ari carry game. This one should have been a first place, but our Ari got Zephyred. It was bad, man. This, this one would have certainly been a first place. It was Ari carry with uh, double, uh, <laughs> double uh, Q cones. Uh, right here, we had our first place. This was a, it looks like a Callista 2 carry. Oh, it's Callista Gwen. Callista Gwen. Uh, Kalista Gwen, Yasuo, and then we got the Heimerdinger 2 right there. We lost this one playing um, playing Challengers there. And then we had a, uh, this was a Challenger game as well, but we did we did the augment where we got all Orn items, so it got a little wacky. I think if we didn't take that, we probably would have uh, gotten a little better placement. We played an Azir carry game. I played three Shurima. I did not play five plus Shurima. I know a lot of people like five Shurima. I think that's a pretty good board. It's pretty easy to play as well. Um, right here we played... Um, we played another Ari carry game, and this one was another one that uh, that could have been a higher placement, but I just made a few misplays in there. I think this one we had, uh, I think, and I you see I side carry Aphelios here on an AP comp. We did the Targon thing that I was talking about, and I think this one we played Stillwater, so there were no augments. It was really boring. Um, you can blame you can blame Dallas for that. He voted for it. <laughs> um, and then yeah, look, we tried to play a Zeri game and it felt real bad. The game just gave me so many AD items. I think I took some bad augments. 
Um, I took the augment where you get an infinity edge and a death blade and I had to put that on Senna and she really wasn't making it work. And that was a prismatic. So that did not feel good right here. We had, uh, we played some storks with a side carry of Kaisa. We, uh, this game was going pretty well, but, uh, dog dog and, uh, the other dog dog and this guy RDM, they, they just had way better boards and we got, we were lucky to get our third there. So that was nice. And then right here, um, looks like we were playing Ari. Um, I could have placed better in this game had I have shifted. I was trying to play Kaisa, but some guy was holding six Kaisas. Uh, so it just completely gate kept me out of playing the game. And I ended up switching to Ari. Had I have switched to Ari earlier? So something I learned from this game is if you get an Ari one with with uh, an item setup that looks like this, it's going to hit like a truck. If you can, if you have a good tank, good tank line. I had a really good tank line, so I should have switched to. Uh, I should have just switched to Ari earlier. I could have, but I was sitting on a Kaisa pair, and it was just got it got really weird. Um, so we switched off of that and played this. We played Aphelios as our side carry with Challenger Spat. Um, it did feel pretty good, Challenger Spat on him, but you know we just couldn't we couldn't get our build online. And then right here, our second place here, we almost won this. It was a back and forth in the final lobby, uh, but I found the best user of Challenger Spat is Belveth. And you don't need to run Void or anything like that. Don't worry about running three Void in the endgame. Who cares about your little Voidling? Uh, but we ran a Challenger Belveth, and that was really nutty. That felt felt really, really, really good. We want to. We would have won this lobby had we have had better items on our Kaisa. We had Martyr, which is a healing augment, um, and we built two healing items on our Kaisa. Uh, so that felt really bad. Uh, <laughs> but it's just what we had. It's just you know we were just playing what we were given there. Um, but we would have won this lobby. The Belveth felt very good. So, anyways, guys, that's what I've been playing. Um, so I recommend playing around challengers. Uh, playing around AP. I think AP is really good. I think Aphelios is pretty solid. I think uh, Zeri with Piltover is good if you get the Piltover opener. But other than that, I don't really like playing Zeri. Maybe some other people like playing Zeri out there. Invokers felt really good. Um, Belveth with Challenger Spat. She's probably the best Challenger Spat user, so I learned that today. Um, so yeah, all that stuff has been pretty good. You know, uh, another good Challenger Spat user is probably Senna. Because uh, Senna is just a really, really, really good unit. But anyways, guys, that's pretty much it. Just wanted to share with you guys what I was using, what was successful for me today. And good luck when you're climbing tomorrow. Uh, we're going to be playing more again. I, I, I My rank went down when I refreshed. But hey, we got into Challenger Evo before we refreshed there. Uh, but I'll, you know, slow and steady wins the race. And guys, if you want to see me playing live, I'm playing all this live. Uh, so check me out on Twitch. I would love to see you guys there. We have a really good time. Um, a lot of people were hanging out today, so uh, I'd love to see you there as well. But appreciate you guys, and I'll see you on the next.